another self-reflection time. I don't know. I just think to myself, like, the current events of my life, things that really irk me, uh, people constantly remind me I'm old. And I'm like, dude, I flirt with one and a half my age and they flirt back. I swim a half hour straight without stopping. I'm an instructor in uh, Kung Fu. I work with a guy like way younger than me, 30 years plus. I lift as many people as he does. And uh, people, I'm, I knew that when I went to acting class, and uh, I was a drama major in a community college after Harvey died, and I was getting like my own way, a tribute to him. And I was thinking to myself, like, they kept looking at me like, yo, 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 and you're in our class, and it's all about us. And it reminds me of high school. This is how I like this. Every class think they're the shit. Every class think, yo, we wait for the seniors to grow up, leave, and then the juniors. And then it goes on like a cycle. That's how life is. You're not the shit. You're the shit only if you think you are. Because you go into the same old stuff your parents did, and you do the same jobs, and you, get, you fall in love, you get clones of yourself, and then you get old. Always the mentality. I'm not old. I would never be old because I think young. And uh, you're old if you're in back to ambulance, not driving the ambulance. And even when my health fails, my mentality is that I achieved so many things through Hollywood and just being promiscuous and dating outside my race and having good looks. I don't feel like I got to be some old guy in a nursing home walking with a walker because I'm a certain age. And I'm just random thoughts on the top of my head that really pissed me off. Another thing that uh, pissed me off, uh, I got to be careful. I get tired of talking about religion. You're entitled to believe what you want to believe. It's your opinions. This is my opinions, okay, from my experiences. I've seen so many people who consider themselves godly and religious, and, you know, they're not really open-minded, and they're judgmental, and they're quick to judge and hate and, you know, condemn. And, you know, only way you're spiritual to me is you encourage others, and you keep doing it. You know what I mean? This positive criticism and this negative criticism. Negative is when you hurt people. You know what I mean? You're not trying to improve their lives. Hollywood is always like, hey, what's up? Hey, man, how you feel? Blah, blah. Work is just you no know, repetition. You know, you don't have to be no Einstein to do things at your job if you've been doing it forever. What got me mad is that uh, religious people judge me for not being religious and I saved so many pets. I made so many people in back in the ambulance, like the movie. Uh, Robin Williams, all respect to his soul, uh, did the movie Patch. I, I cheer up so many people, more than most people, most than most people I've seen uh, that felt sick and dying. They don't cheer, they're just doing their job. I'm, I went beyond the Call of Duty. I didn't do it for my ego, I do it because I care. So that's compassion. So you could take all these religious ceremonies and think you better and da, 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 and judge, but really it's your heart. If you really want what God is, I'm gonna tell you, the whole meaning in life, the mirror. Like the movie Kung Fu Panda. Look in the mirror like I'm doing now. And I'm home with my pets. I got Pitbull and the cat. I'm getting Walk Mila. It's Sunday. Uh, today's for August 14th, 2022. I'll be 59 in this month. And that scares me because I realized I'm definitely, I remember Natasha and I took uh, my mom on her 60th birthday to IHOP. And we went to the park with Kobe Bryant, uh, Lord Mayor, where he's from. And, uh, I can't believe I'm that old now, and uh, but the reality is I am. But that don't mean that you have to die. Not all sickness is death, my dad used to say. And I'm just rambling and talking, but I make a lot of good points. And uh, if you really want to see God, it's not an outer space. It's not something in a book written, dug in the dirt and dug up, and, uh, and this is the way everybody has to live. You didn't experience it. You didn't know those people. You don't know how what was written. You don't know the times. You're not even considering the wars and the political climate. You're just considering, like, I'm going to judge everybody else where they don't think like me. That's not how it works. How many lives have you improved? I don't, I can't pro prove to you all the people lives that I had a positive impact on. But trust me, I did. And I am not anti-anything. And I'm not anti-against religion or any type. I'm anti-against ignorance. And that's why I make my videos. Because what you're saying, you're ignoring. And we ignore the truth. The truth is, the world is big. Learn as many things as you can. And stop judging and thinking it's only one way to live. Only. I'm married to the test of law school. It said, uh, anything you see only on the question, that's always wrong. Never. 
because it's too extreme. There's so many possibilities and we limit our minds. And some of the limited perceptions should not define you. So I kind of encourage myself doing this. And um, to find God, look in the mirror. To see the devil, look in the mirror. And I know for all my mistakes and all the things I did wrong, I did, oh my God, some games were working records and mistakes. But you know what? I still have a good heart. And I still care about people. And I have a very open mind. I don't know my future. Getting older is scary. It's scary as hell. That means you go on the ground. And I don't think anything's going to happen in terms of what these religions say. But I do think you do continue in a spiritual way. Do you remember the people that you knew in the past? I don't know. I would love to see Harvey and all the girlfriends I had and the major ones and all my pets. But I don't know if it works like that. But if it do, that's great. But I'm not trying to see 8 billion people. I'm not trying to see all these religious people thinking they're so better than everybody else. I don't see people that had an impact on my life. And uh, like I said earlier, you really want to see who you are? Look in the mirror. I show all the time on my YouTube videos. And I think that's the best thing I ever did in my life because I can see myself. And that makes me feel like God-like. And that makes me feel like, hey, I'm not perfect. But you have to find it your own way. And everybody got different paths. It's not just one path. Look in the mirror. Forget all these ceremonies, all these in judging I'm better than you because I believe in some book me a thousand years ago. That means nothing to me. Look in the mirror. That Kung Fu Panda show. That's the meaning of life.